U.S. putting the pressure on Hamas to accept a ceasefire deal in Gaza. And it could see the release of more hostages, including an American. Fox 5's Sharon Crowley is live in the newsroom with the very latest. Sharon. Yeah, we're following developments there. Uh, the U.S. is trying to convince Hamas to agree to the latest deal on the table that would include a ceasefire in Gaza and the release of hostages. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is in the region tonight as families of hostages plead for more progress in these talks. We also know a deal is possible. Israel, Egypt, Qatar, and the United States, we trust you and we urge you to do everything and bring our people home now. Families of Israeli hostages kidnapped by Hamas on October 7th, pleading for their immediate release. How would you feel if the person you love the most is in such danger, crying, sad, depressed, tired, and begging, begging to be taken out of hell? Secretary of State Antony Blinken is in the Middle East. In Saudi Arabia, he discussed a potential ceasefire in Gaza with the Crown Prince. He's trying to broker a deal that would include the release of 33 Israeli captives. Hamas has before it a proposal that is extraordinarily, extraordinarily generous. I'm hopeful that they will make the right decision. President Biden spoke with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu over the weekend. On that call, Biden addressed ongoing concerns about Israel's intent to invade Rafah, the southern Gaza city that Netanyahu says is the last Hamas stronghold in the region. It could jeopardize hostage negotiations. It's also where thousands of innocent civilians in Gaza are sheltering from Israel's blasts. An Israeli airstrike hit Rafah Saturday. We heard the sound of screams. We went out to see what happened. Our neighbors had been bombed. Well, Hamas has repeatedly demanded assurances that an eventual release of all hostages would bring a complete end to Israel's airstrikes in Gaza and a withdrawal of its troops. Israel, for its part, has only offered an extended pause, vowing to resume its offensive once that's over. This is an issue that has repeatedly obstructed efforts by the U.S., um, Egyptian and Qatari mediators during these months of talks, Natasha. All right, Sharon, thank you.